Hello everyone and welcome back to Factory Town. I do apologize for being such a scallywag in the last episode and making you wait so long to see trains, but don't worry, that is going to be the focus of this episode. We are going to start off by setting up a, a functioning rail line that will ideally be delivering plenty of veggie stew to Old Town. Following that, I think we will spend a bit of time relocating quite a lot of our food industry back up here. And whether we're going to set up a, a new town specifically for this, or whether Old Town is going to be that, uh, I, I don't know. I think I think Old Town is, is a historic place, and it's already got the industry, the uh, base industry of all of the uh, lumber products anyway. So uh, we may we might leave that there, or maybe Old Town is just going to become this uh, this historic uh, town. Maybe maybe a tourist attraction for all of the other towns. They can find out where where all all life in these lands originated from. How we don't know. Just people just seem to pop out of thin air whenever a cursor is hovering nearby. But nevertheless, it is the place that started it all. Now, what I'm going to do in here first and foremost is I'm going to set these up uh, to not be used for now. Let's uh, set those up as a no input, please. I don't want anything going in there. There we are. Ah, no. Uh, well, that is too late for me. Wasn't quite there in time. Actually, no, I can set it up. We, we're going to dump that. There we go. This way, we've got a load of uh, units that can't be used for storage. I don't want more than 200 veggie stew uh, sat in there. We've got a silo that can uh, back up a little bit. This has been uh, filling up for quite some time. Now then, let's get to the important business of moving around products. Now, for the time being, I think it's probably uh, probably going to be easier if we just have a, a little train stop down here somewhere, which will uh, just drop off the veggie stews, and we'll have a caravan then move the veggie stews over to the gourmet gourmet food location. But eventually, we're going to have quite a lot more things happening, and maybe even uh, as we move these sorts of things around, we're, we're going to have a lot of things brought by this train. So hopefully, this is going to start looking quite nice. Now we don't want to build it so close that uh, we're not going to be able to take the rail any further either. Uh, that's uh, that's something very, very specific to this. I, I want the, the train stop to be one stop in a much larger network. Ultimately, I want the food from, from uh, whether this is a town all of its own or just an industrial complex for making food, uh, delivered to all of the various towns around our, our world. So, uh, hmm, where to put it? This is this is actually a, a difficult question in a way. We don't need this cotton, I suppose. We could have a, another train stop down here, another coal. The coal I want to keep, and I will show you why in a moment. But let's go ahead and start off with a little train station somewhere around... Well, I'm going to say we'll probably want the trains delivering at the front, and then wagons and the like being able to uh, pick up at the back. Uh, we could even just have it somewhere over here. Actually, I like that idea, along this large... Large little, uh, little area here, but I don't want it down uh, down in the the little dip there. So we're going to lift this up just a bit. We're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming just to make sure that everything is right. So we're going to want to raise these blocks, all of these. I know we, we're losing a, a nice little a little area there. I mean, there's a part of me that's actually sad about that, but uh, overall, I think this is going to work out quite well for us. Uh, we will continue with that little path there for now. All right, let's go grab our train station again. I want to get the uh, train stop ready to accept the train before we do anything else. Now we'll pop it about... Hmm. Well, we could have it at the corner, honestly, and uh, have the uh, rail just take a sharp turn. Now, if we place down the rail, I strongly suspect that, it, as with placing rail in front of a uh, silo, it will immediately uh, show, yeah, it, it'll pop something down there. Now, this marker is telling us what's going on. It's active, yes, no, that can be uh, toggled via automation blocks, which is quite cool. But uh, right now we've got uh, load, and the arrow is pointing outwards. That means it's gonna load a, uh, a train or whatever vehicle's in front. And as a result, we've got this here, hold until full. Whatever train is there, we can tell it that it needs to have a full cargo before it's allowed away from the station. That's probably a dangerous setting uh, if used without absolute certainty that there's always going to be materials there to load it with. Uh, but we wanted to unload at this train stop. 
there we go. We'll unload and hold until empty at this point. So the train will have to stay there until it's completely emptied its cargo. Again, probably a dangerous setting if uh, used without absolute certainty of how it's going to affect things. Now, with that in place, we can head over here and drop down our first little uh, little area. Uh, ooh. You know what? This is a bit of a... Ooh. I just realized uh, when I spotted the silo there. Mm, yes, I think I think we might be might be a, a little bit more wise if we actually tuck this back just a little bit further and then use the silo as a storage for the goods that we're bringing down. Otherwise, we are probably going to run into a bit of trouble. Uh, yes, I just moved the uh, loading area without actually moving anything else. There we go. Pop. There we go. All sorted. We will actually have a silo. Or two or three or maybe four. Who knows? Uh, just out here. We'll, we'll set that up right now. Uh, this silo will be for uh, no other but a veggie stew. And there we go. What I could have is a little offloading bay and then a number of silos around here with uh, little pushes trying to push into each silo in turn and then if it can't it goes into a final silo which is just like i don't know maybe a dump grounds uh, later on there will be a void uh, a void um receptacle which will simply delete anything that gets placed into it uh, i don't think that's necessarily what we're going to be wanting here but uh, we'll just set it up in a fairly simple way for now if we were massively overproducing things to the point where we end up with just overflow then maybe later on, but I would prefer to uh, upscale our consumption rather than dump those products. But that should work quite nicely there. Now we're going to want to bring the rail all the way down and we're going to want to do much, uh, much the same over here. Uh, so let's grab some rails right there and draw these out. Now this one will be set up to uh, unload, which is exactly what we want in this instance. And uh, we'll run it along, along here. That's not going to be a problem. Now the issue that arises is how are we going to connect this up? Also, I don't want to destroy the coal. The coal is going to be super, super important in a moment. Uh, so, I think what we're going to do instead is uh, we're going to unfortunately have to lose one tree. Uh, two trees. Uh, three trees. Ah, look, it, it's a sacrifice. A, a noble sacrifice, no less. In the name of progress, those trees had to go. Uh, there we go. We're also going to have to lose one or two bits of coal because it's going to look silly otherwise. Uh, let's grab this one. We'll have four there. One, two, three, four. And then this one there. There we go. That will give me a nice little area. Uh, one, two, three. There we are. Now I am going to want this rail to be able to move up these levels. Now the beauty, the absolute beauty of rails and uh, specifically locomotives much like conveyors they can go up hills you can get wag uh, just mine carts to go up hills but it's a much bigger potch to get that to work now the problem is, is where are we gonna how are we gonna get this back uh right now it's a little bit of a trouble uh i'm not gonna lie it's a it's a little bit more more uh, tight down here than i would really like it to be Nevertheless, we're going to do our best to, to get this to work with the space that we have available to us here. Uh, I could just swing this straight around and, and connect it back up. Since it, there's only going to be one train running on this line for now, that would work. Uh, and as a, a way of just illustrating the system, I guess it's not the worst. Uh, it's not the best, though, either. Now, much like uh, with shoots, Unless it's told specifically to take a turn, it's going to prefer not to take a turn. Unless it's forced to. So, for example, a train coming down here will take this turn there. And if for some reason the train was going the, the other way and was starting over here, it would just go up. It wouldn't try to take this turn. In fact, it's impossible for the train to take that turn. It can only turn to the right, moving down the ramp, or immediately to the left. It can't obviously go forward or take a uh, right turn coming around this corner. Now, we are going to want fuel for our train. Uh, I'm not sure if a, if a locomotive can climb a ramp without any fuel in it. And you know what? We, we're going to, for science then, it's important that we know. Uh, completed research, advanced logistics. Oh, well, wonderful. New structure unlocked, agent trigger. This is where we get into programmable blocks. And I am going to say no to myself because I know that I would spend far, far too long playing around with that 
if I allowed it. So uh, for now, we're just going to avoid that one. Uh, I do want to bring... Hmm. I kind of just want to go around this area if I can avoid it. So unfortunately, we're going to have to lose a few more trees. It is a bit of a shame, I know. Uh, we'll just do that right there. Uh, this should allow me to bring everything down into the right spot. There we are. Uh, is that pointing the right way? Yes, it is. Marvelous. And there we go. Perfect. Right, we can hook all of these up now. And because these are so high up off the ground, I don't feel the need to add in additional supports over this area. That That's far... Uh, that, that's easily high enough that it's not going to be a cause of any kind of problem for our, our wagon traffic there. There we are. And this can go up and around like so. And finally, we just need a little bit of a, a, a turn over here. Now, as I said, the locomotive won't take a turn naturally unless it's told to. So we're going to have to tell it to in this instance. Because we do want it to go around this rail in a specific direction. Though, that being said, there's actually no particular reason to force it to do it in that way. Uh, thinking about it, that, that's actually completely unnecessary. I'll give it a little bit of a wider, wider rate to go, though. Over here. So, over the, here we go to the locomotives. Rather expensive on this. Let's pop it down on the train. Now, can it go without any fuel? It has no fuel. It has no water. It's going to need both. It has no item filter. Uh, I believe this would affect... I think this would affect the entire train. I'm not entirely certain about that one. But it also has a signal tag. So you can actually set up rail signals, I believe, so that a certain locomotive won't interact with a stop unless it has the correct signal tag. So, for example, right now these are matching, but if uh, it was different, we can for science that though. But let's just see if the steam locomotive can move. Oh, can. It can move without any fuel, but it's moving fairly slowly. It's moving about as fast as a wagon. Uh, sorry, it's a mine car. Now, question is, how is it going to uh, how is it going to navigate this uh, ramp here? It's sped up a little bit, so it is affected by uh, regular uh, types of. Oh, Oh, there we go. It does not have enough power, normally, to climb that. All right. That's uh, that's an important one for us. That's a very important one. Let's uh, rotate it around, and it can live up here for now. Uh, I would like you to stop. If we should start you, you would be able to move down there. Okay, so that's perfect. Right, the next stage, then. We need fuel. And we don't just need fuel. We need water and fuel. That one is going to be a little bit more complicated down here, I fear. I fear it will be a tad more complicated. Now, we could obviously load it up with uh, with wood. And in fact, being right along here, that would be fairly easy to do. But we've got all of this coal over here. Why not make use of it, eh? I think we should absolutely make use of this coal. So with that in mind, this cotton has to go. I'm sorry, cotton. Uh, but uh, we've got a cotton farm elsewhere now. Uh, right. <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. Not, not only is your job gone by the other cotton farm, you, you got wiped out because of it. That, that, wow. Old town, you have some skeletons in your closet. Ah, uh, my goodness. Let us hope the other, the other towns are more progressive. <laughs> wow, that turned grim. Uh, don't worry, old town, it wasn't really your fault. Uh, let's find the mine. Let's go ahead and find you. There we are. And we'll pop the mine. Oh, we have rotated it the wrong way. My bad. There we go. Perfect. Now, this mine should be able to uh, happily collect some coal. Supplying pickaxes? Maybe. Maybe one day. Uh, but not right now. Not right now, I'm afraid. We want a silo. And it does have to be up at this point. Uh, Alright. We can do that. But where are we going to bring the water from? We pop that silo in there. The loader is loading. The silo shall be set to accept coal. There we go. And uh, we can just bring the coal up via a, uh, a chute. That shouldn't... Uh, sorry, uh, a uh, ramp. That shouldn't be a problem. So let's go ahead and draw that out like so. There we are. Nice and easy. There we are. Okay, so that's going to give us uh, combustible fuel. We now need water so that the steam locomotive can actually produce steam. We're going to need a second silo for that. Well, actually, no. We wouldn't 
technically need a silo. What we need is a well, or any other kind of water source, really. But uh, I'm interested to see if a well can do this. Oh, it can. Well, 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 oh my lord. Every time I do that, I cringe a little bit on the inside. It's not just you, it's okay. But it looks like this can actually draw from the well. Okay. Well, I want to make sure that that is, is the case, but we're going to move things around a little bit more. Let's see how much fuel and water this locomotive requires. Oh, there we go. It loaded up on all of the fuel. And it doesn't seem to be uh, burning through that fuel particularly aggressively. Oh, now it is. Now it is. It slowed down. Oh, I think perhaps it was momentum. It wasn't burning fuel. Ooh. It didn't need to be burn any fuel when it had the momentum from the drop. It's only on the rise that it burns a lot of it. And then it burnt off a lot of its momentum when it went up that hill and then started consuming water again. Oh, that's that's fantastic. But a single well is actually producing more water than this is using in one round trip. That is very, very good to know. Okay, let's have a watch of this again. Womp, there we are. Right, we'll pause that there. We've now got a locomotive and it now is fueled. However, a well can only... Oh, I didn't mean to move the locomotive. You can go back up there, thank you. Uh, the well can only store 10 units of water at, at a time. Also, where is our underground reserve of water? Do we Are we pumping water down here? No, no, we're not. We are pumping water all the way over there, but we've not got a pump all the way down here, so we're not going to worry about that then. But I do think that having a well pumping into a silo, perhaps, would be a better idea for us. So let's go ahead and grab that. Womp. I am going to have to rotate you so you're pointing the right way. There we are. And I want buckets of water specifically. Now the question is, because the silo is lifted up, we're not simply going to be able to connect underneath it, which is a bit of a shame, I'll be honest. Um, perhaps I could, in fact, move the silos back a little bit, just to make that a that tad bit easier for us. Um, it would allow us to use a, a piping without a, a much more overt connector. But I don't think that's necessarily the worst thing. So let's go ahead and, and try this out. We want a fluid pipe coming straight from the well over here. We then want a uh, fluid pipe connector. There we go. And we'll come back out into the... Uh, to the main world. I just want that there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we're going to move the, the well a little bit further away because I don't like that as the connector, if I'm honest. Uh, it looks a bit unsightly to me. All right, let's connect that up like so. There we are. That is so much nicer. So much nicer. All right, let's uh, bring this straight up. We're going to want to bring up the fluid pipe. Uh, let's make sure we're on the right, correct plane. There we go. Does that look okay? Uh, it does does look a little bit wonky with the uh, the way it interacts right there, but let's have a watch. It isn't the worst. I mean, I could pull this back a little bit further just to have it look a little bit neater. <sighs> you know I'm going to. That's the thing. You all know I'm going to. There's no point in us pretending that I won't. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Look, I'm not proud of the fact that I had to stop and fix that, but, you know, it is fixed now, so uh, hopefully you like it. Right, with that in place, our little locomotive should be back of any moment now, and we'll find that we have a nice little uh, stockpile of water to load it with. Let's have a watch of this. Womp, there we go. It's now fully loaded with both water and coal. And again, it doesn't use fuel when it doesn't need to. I think that's actually pretty amazing. All right, we're going to stop it for now because I would like to give it some wagons. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some uh, minecarts. Sorry, uh, not wagons. And we'll click over the locomotive right on this tile. And that should attach it. And then the same with all the others. Now, initially, I'm going to say we don't want... Let's just restrict it to one minecart for for this particular uh, food stuff. So we're going to have an entire minecart dedicated to the veggie stew. There we go. The other minecarts for now, I'm going to set... Well, honestly, I could allow them to pick up anything. Um, but I'm going to set it to uh, other items just now, just to re remove the possibility that those get filled up. I want to see 
If uh, the fuel consumption is a little bit higher for the locomotive with wagons attached. Uh, it doesn't seem to be particularly bad right now. I just loaded up there at the uh, train stop. Fantastic. Is it going to stop? It does stop even when it's pulling weight. It does use a lot going up that little hill, though. And down here, offloading. And there we go. We are delivering veggie stew to Old Town. Oh, this is truly marvelous. Absolutely wonderful in every way. We are going to want ourselves a caravan. Let's get you going, and I want you to bring... Ve oh, actually, I don't want you to just straight up empty veggie stews. I want you to take your veggie stew from there to gourmet foods. Oh, this is going to be grand. Uh, it looks like... Uh, can all houses just have gourmet foods there? Uh, let's have a look in here. There's uh, apple pies. Ah, we need the particularly high-level houses, I think, for this one. Yes. And veggie stew is its own category of happiness. That means we're going to be able to provide an enormous amount of veggie stew to this town. Let's have a watch of that. And there we go. 24 yellow coins a pop. That is actually quite amusing. All right, there we go. You're probably never going to use it the right way, are you? You're, you're going to insist on, on being there. Ah, oh, my lord. Uh, I can force it with fencing, but I'm not going to in this instance. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and we'll actually upgrade you as well so that you'll accept some more veggie stews too. But there we are. So we are now delivering quite a lot of veggie stew over here to, uh, though not that we really need it, which is just as well as we uh, stop that. So we can deliver quite a lot of items to this train station and hopefully bring them down here. Now the issue with this is it is, it is built in here quite tightly. Maybe I'll want to move around some of the coal deposits here. Or maybe just give in and allow it to be filled by uh, by wood instead. We've got quite a lot of wood over there, uh, to be fair. And we, we've completely backstuffed all uh, of the wood here. Maybe we will do that in the long run. But uh, for now, I think what we're going to want to do is... Well, what are we doing right now down here? We're producing wool. Honestly, we're not going to move that one, but we could easily bring down some items that they, they don't even have uh, down this way just yet. We're delivering fish, and that's going to come from over here. We, I, I see no particular reason to change that one. But uh, we could absolutely deliver some other items, maybe even produce some of the items that we're making over here. For example, the fruit juice would be a nice one, and the jams. What else can the gourmet food shop supply? We can supply... Um, Sandwiches that the jams would be a nice one if we set something up to produce that I'd be very happy to have jams Added to the list of items that our train can bring down Okay, well, we're this is all for the production of veggie stew. We frankly use way uh, We're producing way more than we need so we could dedicate one of these kitchens to something else if I particularly wanted to uh, Do I particularly want to that is a question uh, a valid question, but uh, for the time being, I think we're going to set up, honestly, this long uh, trail of fertilizer over here while it works. Maybe not the best thing. Maybe we should have a, a production of fertilizer down here. And so that would necess necessitate setting up some grain and then a grain mill. And if we're doing that anyway, we might also want to uh, to produce some bread locally and send that down. Actually, I kind of like that idea. I like that idea a lot. But what would be used in uh, in a sandwich? Out of curiosity, what would we need? We would need cooked chicken and cheese. Oh, well, actually, yeah, that, that would require at least two separate, uh, two separate pastures. And on top of that, we would need cloth as well to make the cheese. So that, that's a big old, big old nope there. But if we were producing sugar and butter, now butter does not require a, uh, a separate uh, a separate industry. We could actually make eggs, butter, using a, a chicken farm and uh, and uh, a pasha with uh, with dairy cows. We could go all the way to berry cakes, and that would be the beginning of our production of purple coins. Ooh, I wasn't expecting to jump to purple coins this fast, but uh, I'm I think I'm down for it. I think I'm I think I'm on board with making berry cakes. Okay, 
Well, we're not going to need... Uh, well, we're actually going to need quite a few grain, grain farms, but we're going to need the cakes first, I would say. Oh, actually, let's start with the, the chickens. This is going to need a lot of space, though. Uh, we're going to need an awful lot of room for what we're about to embark on. And we're also going to need another kitchen, I'm going to say, because those, those cakes take a long, long time to make. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and clear up a bit of space for the kitchens. Okay, welcome back. Now I've gone ahead and I've uh, flattened out a little bit of space, but I've also taken the liberty of placing down all of the buildings that we're going to need. Now this is the, well, not strictly the minimum, but uh, discounting the fact that I've set down one farm for each type of product, that is grain, sugar, and berries, these are the minimum buildings that we would need. A kitchen, uh, is is the well? We'll work from uh, from the the bottom up, I suppose. So we're making uh, berries, sugar, and grain. We are using one grain mill to make flour, one grain mill to make animal feed. I suppose you could actually condense that down to to a single grain mill as well. Uh, so th this isn't strictly the minimum, but uh, we would need two pastures: one producing eggs, just eggs; the other producing milk. It will produce as a byproduct fertilizer as well. So we're not going to need this long shoot uh, from from uh, all the way back there. We'll probably be able to just get by with that one pasture producing items. Now, this is nowhere near the correct ratio of buildings for maximum production. Now, uh, that is one of the things that we're aiming for here is to be able to produce these items about as fast as as, as we can. But uh, berry cakes, or rather cakes themselves, take quite a lot of time. But what you'll see here is we will use two milk to make one butter. We will use four fruit of any type, in this case it'll be berries, and one sugar, and one fuel to make jam. We will then use four flour, two sugar, one butter, two eggs, and two fuel, and ten seconds to make a berry cake, uh, sorry, to make a cake. And then finally, one cake, two jams, two sugar, four additional berries, and another ten seconds to make the fabled berry cake. Now, uh, those of you who've been watching uh, my channel ever since the first Factory Town series know that the making berry cakes was basically the pinnacle of that series. We, we got to the point of making berry cakes and it wasn't too long after that that we, we wrapped up the series. Uh, we, we'd, we'd reached uh, some, some of the highest heights. Probably it was the most complicated uh, of all of the things we made. Yes, we did make some other high-end goods after it, but they were they were far easier. They would just required um, end-game materials to make, but this was probably one of the more complicated recipes to put together. Uh, so all of this is going to come together, culminate in the construction of the of the of the uh, berry cake here. We're actually going to be doing that quite quite early. Now this will make uh, milk every two seconds as long as it is supplied with uh, two animal feed every two seconds, so uh, an animal feed a second will max out the production of the butter, at the very least, and it'll actually have a little bit beside. So that should be fine. Now to make, uh, let's find the animal feed. Uh, there we go. To make enough animal feed in time, we're going to need uh, two grain every two seconds makes one animal feed, so we're going to need actually twice as much of that if we really want this to be running at that speed because we're only going to be producing one every two seconds so it's in inherently going to be a little bit slower and do we really want to go for that um yeah i'm not gonna lie we do uh again this area is meant to be uh, an industrial focused area so uh, everything produced at maximum speed uh now we're gonna need a lot more people for this uh, for obvious reasons so just as well that we're upgrading things down here. Let's uh, go ahead and upgrade. Oh, we're going to need a lot of people, actually. Wow, we just made a lot of money with the, the, the new items that they're able to purchase. Down here, there is so much more purchasing power in the old town right now, but we're going to get a couple more. Level 3 houses. Uh, sorry, level 4 houses. Uh, sure, we need to consume those, those delicious, delicious veggie stews faster. Uh, right now, the state... Oh, dear lord, I forgot. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just as well, I checked, I guess. Let's set that one to nope. And indeed, we're going to set a couple of these to nope so that we don't literally just clog this place up with vegetable stews that we can't get rid of. Uh, I mean, ultimately, I can just totally get rid of it, but I don't want to do that. That would make me sad. Uh, I think... Uh, actually, if we uh, set that up... Uh, no, we, we'll allow it to be uh, offloaded. Sure. 
offload that and once that's uh, completely empty then, then we're good but uh, that is going to give us a couple more peeps that we can apply to this problem now we're going to need an awful lot of land crazy amount of land for this uh i should imagine though that the kitchen being down here will be relatively okay how many different inputs are we going to need we're going to need milk we're going to need sugar we're going to need berries the butter will be made on site we're also going to need um eggs the jam will be made on site okay so one two three four five Ooh, that's that's a lot to be delivered down a single route, but we can we can double double stack it uh, for part of the way. It shouldn't be a significant problem for us, but uh, I may want to move that back a little bit. We one hundred percent don't want any of these carrots around, though. So we're gonna. In fact, we don't want them with such certainty. I'm gonna use the big brush for this part. Uh, we're not gonna get anywhere near those water crystals because i refuse to get rid of those until we're actually making use of them until until we're at the point where where water crystals are no longer a precious precious resource we're not going to willy-nilly destroy them however with regards to our pasture uh we could easily have the pasture um draw water from the lake that would save us a bit of time or we could have it piped in i mean which one which one do we prefer i mean uh, this is the industrial area of course we're gonna have it piped in naturally uh, there we go. So, two grain mills. We're going to need all of that precious, precious grain delivered straight down here. Now, the reality is we can probably manage this without uh, without having literally two grain mills for each passer. But it's going to be interesting to see how much we would need to get the maximum output here with the without uh, relying on certain buildings having large production bonuses. Uh, so this will be very labor intensive, very, very meeple intensive operations going on here. Uh, we want animal feed, of course. Uh, not that, again, not, not like it's very likely that I'll get sent them the wrong thing, but uh, we, we'll, we'll assume that it's a possibility. And that is going to want to be supplied by a grain farm. Now, a grain farm, let's find you. How fast are you going to produce grain? One grain every two seconds. So at this point, to produce enough here, we're going to need two grain farms each. That's a rather large amount of grain. But, as I said, we're, we're going to try this the, uh, the, the swift way of just having people delivering as much grain as we uh, as we need per one person farm i think we're gonna need more room oh my lord look at all those resources air stones as well Yikes, that's a lot of resources i don't want to destroy but uh, i'm going to for the sake of progress there we are uh right okay so we're gonna want at least four farms now, these farms are likely not going to need to, uh, this is just for one, uh, one pasture to be running at maximum speed. Uh, but the beauty of this is we're not strictly going to require as much land for these farms. We are going to be able to have four farms happily make use of the same farm land. Uh, we could even have six farms. And we might do that because we are going to need some extra, extra, um grain as well now how many eggs do we need we need two eggs every 10 seconds now this this is the problem so where i've actually been doing that the wrong way around i'm looking at uh, how fast i can produce the maximum amount of butter we don't need even close to that we need uh we need half as much production of butter we only need to be producing one butter every 10 seconds uh so okay uh we don't need to worry about the uh, 10 seconds here 10 seconds there because these produce at the same rate uh, so it's effectively uh, once you've got a backlog of uh, cakes, the the production isn't really gonna gonna play off each other. They they're gonna it, a berry cake is gonna consume a cake at the same speed that the cakes are made, and that that's not gonna be a big issue. So we actually don't even remotely need that much butter. That that's that's good. We're probably still gonna need good am amount of uh, grain farms. But we only need to be producing butter at half the speed that we can, which means that we only need to be producing milk at half the speed that we can, which means we only need one grain mill supplying it with uh, with fertilizer. Uh, sorry, uh, with fertilizer? No, with, uh, with animal feed. So that is gonna be a big help, which means uh, in turn, we, well, we do still actually want this grain farm to receive 
as much grain as it can consume for us to uh, produce that uh, at, the, at the right speed. But that does make some things a little bit easier for us. Now, if we're incredibly lucky, uh, how many chicken eggs we need? Two every 10 seconds, and how fast do we produce an egg? One every three seconds. So, uh, well, uh, a little bit short, uh, uh, less fast, but we only need one animal feed every three seconds at this point. Uh, so, we, yeah, we these four grain farms, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. There'll be a little bit of uh, of overproduction, but it's better to have overproduction than underproduction, in my opinion. And it's not maximum efficiency, but this is not a dark attic run, so I don't care. Uh, there we are. Let's uh, position these about here. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll run the, uh, the grain out the back and into the grain mills, and each one of these will then run to a pasture. Uh, we could have the pastures over the water. Uh, that would be a cruel joke, considering I'm not going to... Uh, well, I suppose I could supply them with the lake, I guess. Uh, we could have one pasture there, and one pasture here. There we go. That's actually not, not a bad little setup, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm reasonably happy with that, actually. And we can have this one just supply its grain straight in there. Same here. There we go. Uh, right. Now we're going to want to strip away the logs there. And at this point, I'm going to want the grain flowing out in this direction and into the grain mill there. That'll be very nice and handy. There we go. Perfect. All right. That's not bad at all. Uh, I will want you to be producing grain. I'm going to want you to be producing grain as well. Supplying water, of course, and uh, growing grain. There we are. Uh, make sure that that is the case over there. Yes, it is. We're also going to want at least one worker. And the same over here. Now that is nice and easy. Right, let's go ahead and set up the grabber blocks that will pull this grain out through the back there. There you are. Perfect. Now, why are you not showing anything? Oh, it's because there are items within your area that you could technically harvest. Uh, it's just we don't want you to be grabbing those. Right, so for the farming tiles, we will now fill this little area here, but every single one of these farms can easily access with grain. And we'll do it very quickly using the larger brush there. Uh, have you not been... Oh, my bad. I didn't uh, select the grain there. There you go. All right, this will start supplying everything we need down here. This little pasture is grabbing its own water. Well, of course, we want to supply water from uh, from our water pumps over yonder. Uh, the way we're going to do this, we'll have a water pipe back here, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, set that up. And one down here. Well, hmm. maybe we'll have it there instead. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then we'll flick down. There we go. Again, I don't on any level need to be pr providing the water this way. I just prefer it to. I, I think the, the water pipes really do look nice. Uh, probably the nicest of all the pipes in terms of just pure aesthetics. Uh, now I would like this to, oh sure, I, I guess we'll just bring that up like that. How many tiles up? Uh, we brought it up by three, so one, two, three. Hop. There we go. And then we'll just adjust the plane that we're operating on. And we'll bring this, oop, have I grabbed it in the right place? I hope so. Uh, there we go, and then just draw that out. There we are. And the same down here. There we go. Now, obviously, you're getting water from the bank there. I could just bring this water out a little bit. There we are, we're seeing two grain in. One animal feed out. Perfect. We will be bringing steam over, of course. Of course, we'll be bringing steam over. But uh, since we do have the lake here, it seems silly not to make use of it, I guess. Uh, sure. We're going to give the animals a little little lakefront view. There we go. Both of them should be getting plenty of water. And we are now producing eggs. We are also producing milk and fertilizer. Now, they are requiring one water every three seconds. How fast are we pulling this out? One every second. Okay, that's not too bad. This is two water every two seconds. This is only producing water as fast as it can be uh, be gathered, uh, which is fine, I suppose, for the time being. Right, so this will be producing the milk. We're going to want to... Well, we could actually take that out via fluid pipe. 
I hadn't considered that one. That's very interesting, but yes, we could we could absolutely deliver that via fluid pipe. Uh, however, I do want to uh, move the fertilizer out. Now, I could just deliver the fertilizer to these two farms, and they could handle all of the fertilization. Uh, that is not a necessarily a bad idea, in my opinion. Uh, so something like this, and then it would split and deliver in either direction, like so. In fact, just to make it look a little bit nicer, we'll uh, build that there. We want two types of blocks here. We want a splitter so that it is evenly split between these two. And then we want a grabber. Now, this is the, the beauty of having all of these farms. Every single farm here can reach every single grain tile, which means that uh, in this instance, the just supplying the fertilizer to the first two farms is enough. There we go. This will be delivered along. And straight up there. There we are. That is actually quite lovely. Quite lovely, in my opinion. Now, the other thing that we could do, of course, is we could have a silo here, and that would uh, help with a couple of other things because we are going to need actual uh, flour. We're going to need four flour every 10 seconds, and a grain mill can produce one flour every four. That is not going to be fast enough at all. It looks like I've got a bit of work laying out a new grain production area for our grain mills. But thankfully, you're not going to have to sit through this with me because with the power of editing, here we go. There we are. Four more grain farms and two grain mills. Now, a grain mill uses three wheat, oh, sorry, three grain every four seconds to produce a flour, and a grain farm produces one grain every two seconds. So it produces two in four, so two of them will produce, well, technically four in four seconds. A little bit of overproduction isn't uh, isn't much a problem, but you could get away with three uh, grain farms here. Actually, you know what, let's, let's uh, shunt all of this back just a little bit, and it'll look a little bit nicer, I fancy. And then we can nestle our uh, grain mills right next to the farms themselves. That actually looks quite nice. I think. Now we're going to need to do exactly the same thing we did on the other side, and that is uh, move all of the green down here. There we go. And there, and we're going to have to get rid of you. And there we go. Perfect. And with that, we can hook everything up. Now we're going to need two grabbers, of course. So I'll pop you there, there, and down here and here. Oh, did I forget? <gasps> what a cardinal sin. I didn't tell these grabbers that they were only allowed to grab grab grain. I've been harping on about that the entire series, and I forgot. What a scallywag I am. There we go. It is almost certainly not necessary. I'm just really finicky about it. I like everything to know what it's meant to be doing. Not just randomly guessing what it's meant to be doing, because I wasn't uh, explicit enough about it. That is how computers, which are trying to, uh, to do what they think you want, do exactly what you did. There we go. Perfect. Right, so that will provide all of the grain that we need for the flour that will be used to make our cake. At this point, we have almost everything we need. We are producing the milk. We are producing the eggs. We are producing the flour. Now, the, the, the milk will make the butter, so that's all taken care of. Next, we need sugar, and uh, unfortunately, quite a lot of it. We're going to need... Four foot sugar every 10 seconds with an extra one uh, every five seconds. So uh, you'd need an extra two every 10 seconds, I suppose you could say, because we are actually using uh, using two jam in this recipe. So yes, we, we're going to effectively need six sugar every 10 seconds. So we can go ahead and set that up uh, straight away. But first, let me go ahead and... Uh, Finish up all the farms down here. There we are, just so that they are producing something, even if it's not a great deal. Now, of course, we don't have the the fertilizer within ease of reach over here, but honestly, that's probably not going to be a big problem. I'll hook it up to uh, fertilizer a little bit later. We'll probably use a silo, perhaps. This one location will probably be good enough, and also we'll hook up the water in just a moment as well. Now, we need sugar. Now, how fast can we produce sugar? We produce one sugar every four seconds. That is, quite sadly, not nearly fast enough, and all, we're already out of people. Oh, no. Let's uh, go and get some more high-level houses, and I suppose. There we go. 
Old Town is starting to look very, very, uh, very uh, high risey at the moment. Old Town is going through a population boom right now. Wow. But that should give us uh, enough meeples to get the last of our farm set up there. Now, we are going to need, uh, again, we're going to need six every every uh, 10 seconds. Uh, well, two we can get every eight seconds. So we simply need three sugar farms to produce all the sugar that we're going to require for our kitchen. That will be a fairly easy one to do. Uh, it's actually probably going to be one of the easiest ones for us to do. Let's uh, have the water crystals right behind here. Uh, this is all very, very spread out, I know, but uh, I don't want to get too manipulative of the terrain. Uh, I like to I like to allow the terrain to, to blossom a little bit, you know. Uh, we'll pop the farm. Oh, you could have it about there, but that's going to get in the way. Uh, let's move these back just a tad. Uh, just a tad. Don't quite need it that close. We, there's a little part of me that's, that's a bit worried about our food supply being right next to magic crystals, but eh, I guess uh, I guess it isn't the worst thing that could happen. Uh, there we go. And with that, we've got our three farms all in place. Now I need all of these to be supplying fertilizer and water and growing sugar. Uh, this one as well. Water, fertilizer, and sugar. And finally, you. Uh, how much are you doing? You already set all of that up. Uh, this one can actually move back a little bit, and that way we can have a slightly larger field as well between all of these. So let's go ahead and set that up. Now, every one of them should be able to access it, except these farms can't quite reach the, uh, the far point, but that should be fine overall, I would say. Let's go ahead and plant all of the sugar down. There we go. Perfect. That will produce all of the sugar that we're going to need. And final question is, how many berries do we need? Well, we're going to need eight every 10 seconds and an extra four. So we're going to need 12 berries every 10 seconds. So we're going to need three farms, each one producing five berries every 10 seconds. I know that's quite a lot of overproduction in this case, and we could probably squeeze out just a little bit of extra efficiency with an extra worker in one of them, but I think uh, it'll make for a nice little uh, pattern mirroring the sugar. So once again, with the power of editing, there we go. Now that actually looks really quite, quite nice. And we've filled up a lot of the space around here quite nicely, I think. Now, the question here is how we're gonna deliver all of these materials because all of them are going to require shoots. Thankfully, these can use shoots. These ones are not so much, but these ones can as well. The eggs technically could, the milk absolutely cannot. Uh, so we're gonna need to have a bit of a, a, bit of a, a play around there. We might even want an extra two grain farms and a uh, pasha specifically producing fertilizer for this much, uh, this uh, many uh, farms that are going to be needing it. I think that's probably a wise idea. Uh, additionally, I suspect that this farm is probably going to output more fertilizer than these four farms can use once we're actually moving the eggs out of here. But that's going to take a little bit uh, to set up. So first, let's just go ahead and set up, uh, let's say, the water first. Let's get uh, water on this side and this side, and then we'll set up the water just down there. It's going to be a, a little bit of work, but I think it'll ultimately be very, very rewarding to see it all in place. And then we're going to want a little bit of a water pipe there. Oh, no, we don't have quite enough room. We'll just have to pop it there then instead. There we go. And that one actually connects up straight away, which is very convenient for me. Exceptionally convenient, in fact. And uh, let's pop that in there. There we go. Now, connecting all of these up is going to be the super easy part. So I'll just go down here. This one can... Well, I don't really mind having this one prioritize and split. Uh, so this one's getting a priority. Well, actually... Oh, sorry. These ones will get priority because it'll go in there first. But uh, the rest of them are sharing the water where they can. But that's uh, going to be all we need to do there. Now we need to bring the pipes in to each of the farms. Uh, so first, let's uh, yeah, let's let's bring this up and out. Let's uh, only bring it up three though. I think that will look a bit better. There we are. And now we want to connect up. Well, it's very finicky sometimes to get these angles right. Unfortunately, I do wish the uh, I need to. Oh no, 
I have changed the angle at the wrong time. Let's uh, cancel that. There we are. Uh, I changed the, uh, the, the plane that I was trying to manipulate at the worst possible time. There we go. That's connected up quite nicely. And then this one can as well. There we are. That looks quite lovely, actually. Uh, so now we need to do the same down here once again. Let's uh, bring that up. Uh, oh. What did I do? Oh, I pressed Q instead of tab. My bad. Fingers were on the home keys. The capital fence. Uh, right, there we go. And we should, if I'm very lucky, be able to hook up to this. And we connect. Doesn't seem to want to. But I very much want to connect up on that tile. Hmm. Not quite sure why it won't. Oh. After more finicky work than I would like to confess that I was willing to do to get that to look right, it is finally hooked up. <laughs> My goodness, that was a potch. Right, let's uh, see if this one won't be a little bit better behaved. I really, really hope it will be. Uh, it looks like it's going to be. Oh, thank you. I really needed this right now because that took me far too long to get the others to work. Yikes. Right, now let's bring this up and make this look like it's quite intentional. Uh, oh, yeah, that works. Ah, perfect. I really like the look uh, that you get with that. I really, really like it. All right, on this side, is it going to be nearly as uh, well behaved on this side as well? I really hope so, once again. I could, I could do with uh, a bit of an easy time after the amount of time it took me to get the other one sorted. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's, it's trying. Oh, there we are. Please. Just over here. There we go. And now can I connect up to you? There was a magic pixel. Aha! It's just a matter of finding the magic pixel. Okay. I, I'll accept that. Uh, one more. One more. Oh, camera. Work with me, camera. There it is. Got it. We are almost, almost home free. Done! Oof. There we go. Though, look, you know I don't want to, but I'm going to. We need to do that. It has to be done. I uh, I will not hear anything of having these these pipes just hovering there in midair. Okay, so all of the farms that we need are now hooked up. All of the produce that we need is now hooked up. Uh, ultimately, we do want to supply some better fertilizer to these locations, but at this stage, we should be able to get everything down to the kitchen that we need down to the kitchen. Now, some of it, as uh, mentioned, can just go underground, and I'm totally okay with that for now, uh, just because I've been faffing around with the, the liquid pipe so much. Uh, the milk can absolutely do that. Let's bring it over here. But of course, we want it to, to go up. I really love that these things can move. Uh, move things like milk and any other liquid around. That's so cool. Uh, let's have this go straight up about here. One, two, three, and in. There we are. Milk is being delivered. Perfect. Uh, right, so with that, we're going to start producing the fertilizer again. The fertilizer is going to start flowing into the fields. Good, good, good. Now, we're going to need to bring over the eggs. The eggs are a little bit more of a podge. And uh, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We've got a lake. We've got a lake, and I'm going to use this lake to deliver the eggs. Could I do it another way? Of course I could. Am I going to? Of course I'm not. You, At this point, you have been watching this series long enough to know how this is going to go down. Don't act surprised. Let's get you in there. Is that on the ground? Yeah, it is. It's, it is on the ground level, so that's fine. And a little bit of decor as well. And uh, you can also see uh, a little message board there that I, I quite like. Uh, we'll have a check of that in a little bit. But we need a boat. Let's get ourselves a boat. Uh, we don't need a fishing boat. Oh, no. 150 is not enough people? Really? Scoundrels. Okay, well, uh, let's start spreading out the uh, house upgrade, love. There we are. Let's uh, get a couple of you further upgraded. Because you're all going to get veggie, veggie pies soon. Uh, right, now then, let's get ourselves a little cargo boat. And by little, uh, that's actually a lie. This is huge. There we are. And we want this to store eggs and only eggs, please. There we are. This thing is probably going to be able to carry all of the eggs that this place can, uh, can easily store. Much faster than it can, it can move it. Well, that's fine. And with that, we can have a conveyor belt 
putting all of those delicious eggs straight into the kitchen. There we go. Marvellous. Okay, so that covers a few things. We should now have plenty of butter in there. Excellent. All the butter that we could want is now sitting in there waiting. Uh, the next thing that we're going to be able to do is we should bring in the fruit and the sugar and that'll start making the jam. Okay. Now, how are we going to get all of that down there is a bit of a question. And one I don't readily have an answer to, uh, which is a bit of a shame because I really would like to have an answer to it. Uh, we're going to probably use a... Probably have two silos, perhaps. One down here and another there. This one will be for the berries. So let's set that one up now. It'll all be fine once we've got berry cakes. It'll all be worth it. Every, every moment of struggle, even with the pipes, it'll all be worth it if we can deliver fresh berry cakes to our people. We've just got to keep our eyes on the prize. It'll all be worth it in the end. There we go. And this one's going to connect up as well, please. There we are. And you know what? Because I want them all arriving through the same means. Ooh. Well, they're, they're all full of berries right now, so that's the, the reason why that's uh, taking a little bit of time. Uh, but I could actually deliver it. Uh, I could have the silo right here instead to maximize that. Probably worth it, actually. Um, something because that will allow us to deliver all the berries as fast as the farms can produce them. At that stage, we want to move the berries out and towards the farm. There we go. This can be set to only extract berries naturally. Of course, we're going to go back to all the others and do exactly the same thing. Berries. Berries and berries. Now, down here, everything is going okay down there. That is set to only extract eggs. Good, good, good. Right. Okay, well, oh, I hadn't set this up to carry the fertilizer at a high elevation. And as a result, this can't move underneath. Um, well, actually it can, as long as I replace that with a an arch, which is what I hadn't done before. There we go, that'll work now. There we are, so berries are being delivered. Now we are going to need a bit of fuel. I could technically deliver <laughs> deliver the fertilizer as fuel, mm. but I think we're not going to be cooking our food with poop. Thank you very much. Uh, we will instead deliver the fuel from over here. There we go. Since we're not using it to fuel the, uh, the train, it doesn't really uh, hurt. There we are. Okay, so now the sugar is the uh, remaining slice of this pie. Uh, let's pop this down. Hmm. This one is a the, this one is a bit more of a complicated one. I would like several conveyors to meet. However, I feel that's not going to be as easy because of the uh, presence here. Um. The alternative is actually to have them all meet here and then move out in that direction. It's a bit more finicky though. No. I think what we'll do is... Yeah, we're gonna go with the same look on this side, even though it's gonna require a little bit more finagling to get that working. We'll, we'll make it work. There we go. Eventually, we're going to need to upgrade these conveyors because they are slow. Very, very slow indeed. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm moving the uh, grabbers, not the conveyor belts. There we go. That'll do. They won't go down into the dip there, but that's fine by me. I don't really mind that. The real problem is getting over the water crystals that I don't want to get rid of. Now, what we can do, of course, is to build over them. And that is, of course, what we're going to do. Um, but we are going to have to get rid of one of them to get the requisite height so that it doesn't look awful. There we go. And then from there... Oops, that's the wrong one. 
you can bring it down. It should all be okay. All right, it sort of works. It takes a little bit of uh, a little bit of wishing really hard, but I think we've got it. There we go. There we are. Sugar is being delivered to a silo, no less. So it's going to be a little bit better. Now I could use a wagon to move all of that sugar down to the kitchen. I don't think we're going to be doing that though. Uh, maybe I could. <laughs> I could bring a boat around. Um, I mean, technically speaking, I could. I could have the boat swing by and uh, collect it, but uh, no. <laughs> as funny as that would be, uh, I think we'll we'll do it this way instead. Uh, we'll bring that out and then all the way down. It can run alongside there, and uh, actually, that is a convenient position for it, since it goes through a uh, an archway there. I am going to have to get rid of this though, and build up the archway for the flour, which is going to be the last of the ingredients. Once we've got the flour flowing in, we'll have everything we need. Uh, the flour will allow us to make the cakes. And then the berry cakes will be made shortly after. But the first one will be jam. Now, hmm. It would be nice to use uh, a chute over here, just because we can with the uh, with the grain mill. So I see no particular reason not to. We are going to have to have grabbers as a result, but that's fine. Set these up to only grab flour naturally. And, oops. There we go. And then it goes. Oh, this is fantastic. I am so happy to have done this. There we are. Flour as well. Now let's have a look at the kitchen. The kitchen is making the first cakes. We've already got uh, some jam in the output slot. The first cake is made in a moment and it should immediately begin the production of the next cake. There we are. That is an awful lot of product to make one berry cake every 10 seconds. <laughs> Bear in mind, this is just making the berry cakes as fast as the default speed. Well, plus the 70% bonus speed because of people's uh, jubilation. But if we add in the steam boosters and uh, other such, uh, such um, enhancements, this will get a lot, a lot better. But there we go. We are now producing berry cakes, which means, of course, we can hook up the berry cakes to the train stop. Are we going to need a silo? There is no way that we're going to need a silo for the berry cakes. Are we going to use a silo, though? Yes, absolutely. Wishful thinking, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, we don't strictly need that because, uh, well, you know, it's unnecessary when it's coming out the front door. Let's get rid of those. And, oh no. Ah, ha ha. We do actually need it in this instance. The reason why we need it for this one is because we are actually making multiple things. This is only making veggie stew, but down here, we're making lots of different ingredients. Then we're making berry cakes out of them. Uh, so we do need to be very specific that this is for berry cakes only. There we are. And then this can deliver the berry cakes right down there. And one of these shall be dedicated to the storage of berry cakes. Uh, can I get in there? There we go. Berry cakes, please. Uh, this one will be for veggie stew only. This one will be for berry cakes only. There we are. Now, let us make one of these wonderful wagons. Uh, they can't be set to sandwiches, but they shall instead be set to berry cakes. Gloriousness. There we go. And should see our first berry cakes. Woohoo! This is marvelous. I could just have the berry cakes delivered straight to the to the uh, gourmet foods shop but why would i do that uh let's get you and let's set up a little area for another silo specifically for the storage of berry cakes that is hopelessly hopelessly over overconfident about our production it, it's kind of sad really how hopeful we are about the amount of berry cakes that we're going to be producing, but oh well. Uh, this is only for veggie stew. This one will only be for berry cakes, and I do, in fact, want it to be used. So there we go. 
Could you please move the berry cakes over to the gourmet food? We're about to get our first delivery. And there we are. Berry cakes are being delivered right now. And our first purple coins are about to be delivered as well. There we go. We are making the highest tier of coin. That took so much work. Now, bear in mind, I'm using slightly more buildings in some places than I need to. But this was a design largely uh, focused around the idea of using one, uh, one um, population farms. Because at certain difficulty levels, you don't get as much bang for buck out of extra farmers. Right now, an extra farmer will literally give you a 100% um, boost to the production. In other game modes, it'll only give you 25%. So it's a nice way to lay it out just to see how that's going. And remember again, even with all of this, we're just producing one Merry Cake every 10 seconds. That's all this was for. This much stuff to have one Berry Cake being produced every 10 seconds. Now it's a much of a larger, more kind of industrial looking sprawl than the, uh, the previous uh, implementation that I had in our first series and I fancy that one looked a little bit better though it didn't have the awesome wooden pipes so you know I would I would uh, I would stand my flag on on a hill and be ready to die for that for that flag on this this case because this is beautiful uh, but yeah the other one had a lot more symmetry going for it it was a little bit more more of an interesting thing to look at but still I'm really really happy with what we've set up there and now we are actually seeing some of our peeps being very happy to have berry cakes. Now that, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, they, they do go through those fairly quickly and uh, then they're out. But uh, for the time that it's there, I am reasonably happy with that. How many have we delivered now? How many berry cakes do we have? Uh, not that many, actually. Have we got any berry cakes in the... Oh, there we go. We've got two berry cakes. Uh, right in there, so we should see some of the houses getting some berry cakes shortly. There we go, offloading, and the wagon is away. There we go. This one was the lucky house today. Uh, to get a a full happiness using berry cakes, my lord, I don't even want to know because ultimately you do need to to have them because each one of these. Ha well, I suppose you could go with regular cakes, but it's still a 10 second uh, production. Yes, we, we did have to add uh, extra berries and sugar in order to get uh, up to the berry cake production, but uh, well, no, no, we needed just sugar anyway. But yes, berries were the only thing we didn't need for this. Uh, the jam and the berries make the berry cakes, but uh, we could have provided the jam as a separate uh, good, honestly, if we really wanted it, we could have uh, brought that down there. But uh, still, I think that was actually very nice to have. Yes, jam can be produced and delivered separately if we really, really wanted to. And we are producing a decent amount of it. But uh, I think that we're not going to get into too, too much with that little area over there. It doesn't look much like a town. This looks like a place that people go to work. Uh, let, let's be honest, this, this is a very industrialized little farming area. Still, I'm very happy with uh, the way it's working right now. Very happy indeed. Right, okay, so with that, we're going to need to start considering how we're going to run our trains to the other towns because we can't keep all of this goodness to just ourselves. Uh, reasonably speaking, this is the only town that's ever going to have berry cakes, or at least for the time being. But uh, getting the uh, veggie stew to the other towns is going to be a bit of a priority. But I think that's going to be something that we're going to work on in the next episode. We will also set up the uh, fertilizer over here, which I'm, I'm thinking is probably going to require a separate farm. Maybe I will set up a silo though, and just see how many farms this one pasture can uh, can supply with fertilizer once uh, once everything gets up and running but i'm i'm strongly of the opinion we're going to need a second farm that is dedicated to the production of fertilizer to manage all of these fields but at least they're all being watered we're also going to want to add in some steam for the kitchens uh, steam the grain mills as well uh, that will be a big help yes uh, indeed we've got four grain mills and a kitchen and in fact three kitchens that could all do with a little bit of uh, an extra oomph. So that will produce a little bit more berry cakes in the long run, but uh, without 
massively improving the the overall production uh, right at the bottom. Doesn't matter if the top can can do more. If you're not supplying the resources from down down below on the pyramid, it's not going to really affect much of a difference other than burning through your backlog. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I really do hope you have enjoyed. We haven't really expanded out the town too much, but I think this was a pretty big project for us to get going. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, recipes that we've got available. Oh, we don't have any recipes available. Okay, well, the first thing we'll do in the next episode then is we will upgrade our base, which we should already be able to do, thankfully, and since we've got such a, a large bank of blue coins, and that will unlock some new things for us to play with. I hope you're looking forward to that, though, and I hope you had fun watching me uh, watching me uh, fight my way through uh, some shenanigans with pipes and generally set up uh, what I think is quite an interesting little, little uh, logistic system for delivering cakes to Old Town. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.